Guys, here we are on lesson 16, video number two, and um, we're still working on in our book. We are on number one, letter E, and the question is, how many pumpkins weigh at least 12 and one fourth or one quarter pounds? 12 and one fourth pounds. How many weigh at least that much? So that would mean that you could weigh more but you would weigh at least one and one quarter pounds. So, I'm sorry, not one, 12 and one fourth pounds. So 12 and one fourth, right? But you might be saying, hey, this is broken into eighths, right? So how many eighths go together to make one fourth, right? Think about two eighths and how you can divide both two and eight by two, and that is going to give you one fourth, right? So essentially, we are composing our two eighths and putting the two pieces together, right? putting our two eighths together, and that would be one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths, okay? So the question is 12 and one fourth at least, so here's one fourth, so at least one fourth would mean they could weigh 12 and one fourth or more. And how many weigh at least one fourth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the answer is nine pumpkins. Please make sure you're recording the answers. Okay, and now we're going to go to our next question. <clears throat> I think I need to just click here. There we go. And now we're on letter F. Eddie bought the two heaviest pumpkins. Jada bought the lightest pumpkin. What is the difference in weight between Jada's pumpkin and the total weight of Eddie's pumpkin. So we got a couple of vocabulary words here we need to talk about difference. Difference is the answer to a subtraction problem, right? So we're looking at the difference in weight between Jada's pumpkin, which is the lightest pumpkin, and the total weight of Eddie's pumpkins because he got the two heaviest. All right, so let's look at our chart here, the two heaviest pumpkins, we've got one here, and then we've got one here, right? So this is broken into eighths, one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be five eighths, of course, 12 and five eighths. And this one is going to be 12 and six eighths. Now we have to add those two together. So 12 and 12 makes 24, and 5 eighths and 6 eighths makes 11 eighths. And that is an improper fraction. So we're going to have to resolve that. 24 and 11 eighths would be the same as 25, right? Because we're going to take 8 eighths out of there. That's going to add one more. And then 8, 9, 10, 11. 25 and 3 eighths. All right. So 25 and 3 eighths, that's how much Eddie's is. Jada's is the least, right? So here's 12. That would be 7 eighths, 6 eighths. Hers is 11 and 6 eighths. And hopefully you worked really hard on. Topic C, because as you can see, 3 eighths minus 6 eighths, right? So we're going to need to borrow to subtract. I'm going to borrow. I'm going to write the borrowing over here. We're going to take away 1. Yeah, we should have just left our 24 and 11 eighths. Yeah, so let's just go back to our 24 and 11 eighths because that's 8 eighths plus 3 eighths. Hey, don't I always say you shouldn't resolve these until you finish? <laughs> Should have listened, right? 
24 and 11 eighths minus 11 and 6 eighths. There we go. And 11 minus 6 is 5 eighths. And 24 minus 11. 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 minus 1 is 1. 13 and 5 eighths. Make sure you write that as a sentence. Um, the difference between Eddie's two pumpkins and Jada's one pumpkin is 13 and 5 eighths pounds. And you do need to write that as a sentence in your notes. All right. Make sure if you don't have it, make sure you pause me and get it on there. All right. Thanks a lot. And we have one more question talking about this data. Let me just pull it up over here. Well, well, you have it in your books. G, Julie bought two pumpkins that have a total weight of 25 pounds. Based on the data on the line plot, what could the weights of Julie's pumpkins be? So they have a total weight of 25 pounds. So we need to find two pumpkins that add up to 25 pounds. And you might be thinking about 12 and 12 makes 24, right? And 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 4 8. 4 8 is the same as 1 half. And there's two of them, right? So 12 and a half plus 12 and a half is going to equal. 24 and 1, right? Because 1 half plus 1 half, that's going to give us a grand total of 25 pounds. So the answer is 12 and a half. All right. Very good. Let me see. Nice work. Make sure you have all that written down. And you are going to continue working on the problems in your book and that will be your must-dos. So thanks so much, and good work, everybody. Aloha.